day, I venture out into the treacherous assist jungle to hunt for my prey. I will be victorious. Whoever dares to challenge me will surrender for my adorable cuteness. Okay, let's take a look at Cooper's catch. Ooh, raw beef marrow bone. It's pretty heavy. And there's no meat on the outside at all. That's the marrow on the inside. Okay, what else is here? Whoa. This thing's pretty heavy and huge. Okay, so these are the raw lamb femur bones. That's the cartilage at the end that Cooper can chew on. And I see that there's some meat on the bone itself. So that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and let Cooper try one of these now. Are you waiting? <laughs> okay. Yay! Most of you already know that Cooper is on a raw food diet. But this is the first time we gave Cooper a raw, frozen lamb femur like this. We used to be apprehensive about giving Cooper any large, weight-bearing bones like this lamb femur or other leg bones of large animals because dogs can't really break down those strong bones with their teeth. But we decided to give it a try after learning that one of our corgi friends on Instagram chews on a raw beef bone marrow a couple of times in a month. This is Schnitzel getting a raw recreational bone from his mom. You want a bone? Can you go to your place? Go to your towel. Schnitzel, go to the towel. Go to your towel. Good boy. Schnitzel is a two-year-old corgi from California. As you can see here, he's lightly scraping the meat off of the bone. Apart from the meat on the bone, Schnitzel is trying to get the marrow inside the bone. It can be risky letting your dog chew on raw, weight-bearing bones. Dogs can crack their teeth if they bite too hard, or if it's a small piece of bone, they could swallow it whole and choke on it. So why did we give Cooper this large, raw lamb femur? You what?! Well, there are benefits in letting Cooper chew on recreational raw bones. One. One, eating the bone marrow and the cartilage provides a ton of high-quality nutrients. <laughs> Two. Two, ripping and chewing on bones is a great muscle-building activity. Chicks dig that. It helps build strong neck and spine. Three. Chewing on a raw bone encourages mental stimulation. Cooper can't just chew on the bone and that's it. He actually has to think of how to get the meat or the cartilage off of the bone. So as he's chewing, he's strategizing. Also, chewing on raw bones helps remove plaque and tartar from the teeth. And it also freshens their breath. So for all of these benefits and more, we decided to let Cooper chew on this raw lamb femur. But of course, we're paying very close attention to him as he chews the bone. This is to make sure that he doesn't chew or bite hard on areas of the bone that can potentially hurt his teeth. And to make sure that he doesn't decide to swallow it whole. Back up. Go back. Good boy. If you decide to give your dog a raw, recreational bone to chew on, it's very important to supervise their chewing, even if you think your dog may already be a pro at it. Like Cooper here. He's on a raw food diet, and he's used to chewing bones. But 
we still supervise him. Also, note that we are talking about raw recreational bones here and not cooked bones. Never ever feed any dog cooked bones. Eating cooked bones is very dangerous because the cooking process dries the bone and it can splinter, cut their throats and cause injury or death. So don't ever feed your dog cooked bones. Alrighty, I'm done talking here. Let's just enjoy watching Cooper chew on this bone. Poor boy. Be careful. Go back. Good boy. Move back. Good boy.
좋습니다. 중입이랑 All right, buddy. That's it. Finish it next time. That's it for now. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, please subscribe and hit that bell icon too so you don't miss our new videos. Thanks for watching!